Now we know how sodium is reabsorbed from the proximal convoluted tubule, so let's move on to the next part, the loop of Henle. And if we're going to do that, this is a good time to admit that we've been drawing the loop of Henle a little less precisely than we could. So let's cut this off and draw it the way it should be drawn. So the loop of Henle actually has three parts. Here is the first part, and then here is the second part, and then finally, here is the third part. And this third part leads to the distal convoluted tubule, which goes to the collecting duct. So what are these parts of the loop of Henle? Well, this first part, as you can see, is pretty thin, and urine that comes through here is going down. So therefore, we call this the thin descending limb. So it's the thin descending limb of the loop of Henle. And since I've told you that, you could probably guess the names of these other two sections. This next one is called the thin ascending limb. And this one here is called the thick ascending limb. And if we're talking about sodium reabsorption, it happens mostly here in the thick ascending limb. So for now, we're going to focus on that part. And then later, we can come back to why we have this thin descending limb and this thin ascending limb.